Creative Sydney is a celebration of the creative culture and the creative people that are in Sydney. Um, but it's also an opportunity to get all of those people together to have a conversation about how to make Sydney a better place to sustain creativity and new ideas. It's a really mixed group of people that we have speaking. The common element is that they're all people who have taken an idea and brought it into reality. We've tagged it opera where you least expect it. We're taking three um, traditional arias, one from La Boheme, one from Don Giovanni and one from Lacme, and performing them in unexpected locations. It's very hard to be an artist in Sydney and so it's actually really lovely to meet people who are also artists because you have a shared kind of struggle. <laughs> it doesn't matter who you are, you know, I think we're the third most expensive city in the world to live in now. You know, creative people will often sacrifice more of their time and their money to being creative and doing what they love. The resources are out there and the key is to figuring out exactly where to go to get them. You get to meet people who work in and are doing projects and are working in ways that you would never meet otherwise. These specific neighbourhoods we go into, they get to see themselves and their neighbourhood and the concerns that they've expressed up on a big screen in a way that they haven't seen it before. One of the benefits of having a, a dialogue like this is that it, it often doesn't happen. I think people can often work in their separate um, you know, rabbit holes getting on with what they do. We started with $2,800. Don Giovanni is being um, sung traditionally and then remixed by Morganics. These spaces are giving us the freedom to think and to experiment. The more information that we have as creative people as well as inspiration, the more our subconscious sorts of stews and allows us to be more creative.